Managing multi-track audio within Resolve is uh, actually really nice. It's quite straightforward. You need to, uh, when you have a track, you need to right click on the track and go to clip attributes. And when you click on click attributes, everything is sorted within the audio tab here. You can adjust that in the media pool or you can adjust that in the edit as well. And uh, if you change the clip attributes here, then when you drag them into your timeline, when you put them in your timeline, any changes will be reflected. If you change them on a clip that's already in the timeline, it'll only affect that clip. So I edit this clip here, that's this clip here. So it won't be, you know, there won't be any changes made to that. So if I delete that and re-add it from here, everything will be reset to the default. What I've got here is two different clips. Uh, well, obviously they're different clips, but what I mean is uh, they're, uh, the, the audio tracks that are on them are uh, sort of um, done slightly differently. When you have a camera, you often find that uh, the audio on one track is uh, different from the audio on the other track. It's, on, it's rare for you to require a stereo vocal track. So uh, you can use the left channel of a, if, you've just, if you're just talking about a stereo two-channel track now, you, you can use the left channel for one dialogue and the right channel for another or the right channel might just be the camera audio or the right channel might be just nothing at all which is as it is in this case. So what we've got on this, if I go to the clip attributes of this track, it's a bit further down the bottom here, you can't see it so I'll do it from here. Go to the clip, clip attributes here, this is seeing it as one audio track, it's a stereo track so here we've got it sort of um, interpreted as a stereo track with two channels of audio in it. But I know that this was only recorded in the left channel. So this audio here is only in the left channel. So the channel two is going to be going to be dead. And you can see that if I play the track, this is just something I was doing earlier. You can see that down the bottom right hand corner here on our level meters, we only have audio in the right in the left channel. That's no good. So the way we change that is, if I, in fact, can I take, I'm just going to go to clip attributes from here because I have graded this clip, so I'm going to leave it, leave it graded. And go to audio, and then I want to say what I want in my right channel, yes, the right channel of my track is the embedded channel 1, so the same as the left track. So now it essentially becomes a double mono track, really. We have a stereo, it's a stereo track, but it's exactly the same in both. So if we click OK, and now click play. You can see there, in the bottom right-hand corner, the levels are exactly the same level, So, but it is correctly playing in both channels. This one is slightly different. So if we go to the click clip attributes there, it's seen as two audio tracks, but they're two mono tracks, which is kind of interesting. And that makes it a bit easier, really, because what we can do is just delete this so this one's actually this the reason this has got so much more data is sort of stuff in it here is that because this is full of wind noise in fact if i can i can play that too so if i unmute this and then just as you can see i don't know if you can see from there you can see that that right tr this uh this r other track here they're both double mono tracks but they're this one's got a lot of wind noise in and it's taken from the right track on the camera it gets quite confusing but uh uh, if I select that with holding down Alt and just select that, I can just delete that from there. But, uh, and you can see that is a huge drop down there. Left with just the uh, lav mic, which is nice, and we have two channels of audio. Great. But uh, if I want to do it the other way, you can go into the clip attributes on this one too. And we can say I want this to be a stereo track, but I only actually want it to be one I only want it to be one track. Ah, no, I can't now. I've already put it in the clip. No, I will have to do that from here. So I'm going to go into it here. And at this stage, I can say I want it to be a stereo track, but I only want it to be one. And I want this one to be the same as the other one. So both uh, left-hand channel. And now I can drop that on my timeline here. And we have just one track coming in. So it's only in the uh, sec only in the first audio track, and it's only the left-hand channel of that original recording. And I'm having trouble getting a, a nice balanced exposure. I'm not using any. Great, because that was wind protected. It was the one I wanted to use. It had the dialogue in, and I'm obviously a long way away here uh, filming this. So um, you know, we're kind of zooming in quite a way. Uh, so yeah, 
I mean, it's really nice and easy. You can do that all that with sort of 5.1 tracks as well and mix and mix them up as you as you need to. But uh, it makes it very, very straightforward as far as uh, basically doing a fill left with right or fill right with left, as it's known in uh, Adobe products. So Adobe Audition um, and Adobe Premiere. But uh, really easy to do and resolve. And uh, hope you find that helpful. I'll catch you soon. If you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and uh, see you soon. Bye.